Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Bioshock 2 Minerva's Den. We're heading into McClendon Robotics to try and get our hands on Electrobolt. I checked them. You checked them? competition for me. Because I think... Yeah, this guy is over there. That's his head. Talk back Seriously? To me. There we go. In his face. That's a, a very nice way to start this episode. Drill dash. There we go. Bowl him over. Daddy's home. Dash forward with your drill barreling through your foes. Keep an eye out on your drill fuel, of course. So uh, that's very handy. My drill fuel is full. So let's get whacking, don't we? Here we go. I do need to be careful about the music because that might get my episode banned. And that is, of course, the handy rivet gun. So now we have one of those as well. Because we're getting uh, weapons by the plenty. Dr. Holcroft's cure all, thank you. So robotics workshop on the right and demonstration stage on the, well, in front of us. There we go. Thanks for that. And then let's get the spear gun, because I heard one right over there. There we go, in the face. Before he could even fire a single arrow. Um, employee zone, I think we can't really enter here, right? Or can we? We can. Hmm. Let's head into here first. Okay, hi. Let's get our laser beam uh, ready. That's a mini turret. Yeah, we have gas bottles. So why not, eh? There we go. Is he dead? I think he's dead. He got a gas bottle to the face. He should be dead. Uh, we have the workshops over there. System design. And we're gonna just hack this thing really quickly. Thermal cells. Thank you very much. Always in need of those. Just not gonna buy anything like that just yet. So let's just fill up on... Well, hop-up cola and cream-filled cake. Which is always very nice. And there, ah, there's the, the third I missed. Okay. Hello? I would think there's... I think there's another one of those cleaning bots around here. But I do need to find it, of course. Because they're usually marked with those same sparks those lights have. Uh, hello? Another spear gun? At least this will come as a surprise to you. Uh-oh. There we go. Can't move. Can't move out of the way. Where's the last one? There he is. And now he is no more. Ooh, laser cells. Laser cells? The thermal cells are so freaking powerful. I mean... I like the normal laser cells, but of course thermal cells just blast through normal splices because they eat through their health pool really, really quickly. There's a lot of stuff around here. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Let's just hack that thing. Wow, he turned really quickly there. And I think... There we go. Upgrade bonus for a more powerful version of that. But, that, is there something? Yeah, there's a, a hypo, an Eve hypo over there. Jesus, this place is dark. So system design, so they made computers here. Uh, but there doesn't seem to be much around here in the sake of useful upgrades and items. They also seem to be making robots here. Obviously, because of course this is still McClendon Robotics. More bandages. There is supposed to be something here. Yeah, the the safe, obviously. Ooh, more thermal cells. I love safes just for that. Somebody else's war. A thing like that. Losing the only person you care about for somebody else's war. It makes you take stock. I started seeing eye to eye with Mr. Ryan around that time. And so, I brought my know-how down to Rapture. I built the thinker for him, and now it's all I've got. I wonder sometimes, what if I'd come around to Ryan's way of thinking just a little sooner? So the reason Porter joined with Andrew Ryan and uh, created Central Computing and the Thinking 
the thinker is because he lost his wife in the uh, civil uprising led by um, well led by Atlas and Fontaine which is of course the same person but that's why he lost his wife and that's why he joined with uh, Andrew Ryan because he felt like that was a, the best way of uh, spending his resources um, still have Electro Bolt and I think it was a gas bottle around here there we go don't know if the other one is still alive now because he went ah oh, there he is there she is. Goodbye. There is another, or does that just loop around? Yeah, that just loops around. More bandages and a first aid kit, but I can't pick that up because we're full up on. Goodbye. That was weird. I didn't see him come in. More spears over here as well. If I just keep running circles, would there be more splices that drop? Because there's more. Laser cells here, because that's where the spider splices died. And one around here somewhere. Yeah, okay. So let's head into the workshop. And see what else we can find here. Because we can already see a bit of what was going on here. Because those kind of look familiar. Because, yeah, they kind of look like little sisters. But they're robots. So what is going on here? Caution, watch your step. No one is supposed to be here. Hello? Yeah, you dropped the grenade there. That was a bit of a, an unsatisfying explosion. Hello? Coffee and a bit of money. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that. Oh, boop, boop, boop. That was close. I hear something. The music is acting up. So might as well get this camera on my side. Just in case something bad happens. Just in case something bad happens. Handyman! So allows us to uh, repair bots. Which might actually not be that bad. But I'm just going to wait and store it for now. There we go. Straight in the face. I love spears. I just love the freaking spear gun. Let's hack this lovely thing and get it on our sides. Another security bolt can't hurt now, can it? There's another. Prohibited? Oh, kind of missed, baby. Ooh, that was the back of the neck. Just like how you uh, would kill a titan uh, and then hack the rocket bolt. Well, thank you very much. I do like myself a personal rocket firing bolt. Uh, what was that? There was something here. Did not get ion laser. Oh, but I'm filled up. Just trying to ignore everything here. Oh, look at that. But I think I can actually whack this out of here. That is freaking creepy. That is disturbing. So there we go. Robotic little sisters. That is not going to be the last freaky thing that we're going to see. But there you have it. And there we have another uh, one of those vacuum bolts. There we go. A mini turret. Always handy. Was that another one? Yeah. yeah. Is that another one? Oh no, that's just... Uh, Ahead of those robotic little sisters. Um, do I have another auto hack dart? I don't. But here we go. Robotic little sisters. Robotic little sisters. Robotic little sisters. <laughs> sure, Mr. Ryan, we'll take that contract. Sure, yeah. We'll front all the R&D costs. No problem. And, and when the big daddies ignore the little robot girls and all your fancy field... Uh, Field tests? Ah, uh, hell, what are we gonna do with all the full production run of these useless things? So, Jack McClendon, of course, the creator of uh, McClendon Robotics, accepted the contract to make robotic little sisters to try and, well, not be a horrible bad guy, like Andrew Ryan is, and uh, use innocent little girls and transform them into that li those little monstrosities. But yeah, 
alas, the uh, big daddies ignored the robotic little sisters because they didn't have a genetic bond with them as they eventually would have with the normal little sisters. Uh, so yeah, that went kind of bad, that business deal. I hear a splicer, but I think he was already in here. So I'm just gonna try and take him out with a simple spear to the face. He's up there and he has another bolt at his disposal. There we go. The back of the neck always works like a charm. So there we go. Let's hack this thing and see what we can get. There we go. Another Eve hypo. Yeah, we're pretty much fully stocked on everything. There's trap rivets inside of this cabinet. It looks like a gas chamber. Still don't really know what that's supposed to be. That they tried to gas little sisters over here? That's just weird. Just gonna, I'm not gonna go through the trouble of uh, hacking these. Just gonna get the first aid kit out of it and destroy it because we don't. Ooh, do, 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 do. No, 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 no. Stop. Ooh, that was. That was. That's now ours, right? I totally missed the animation there that we uh, were successful. But yeah, McClendon Robotics has a lot of robotics in it. Where is this all going? Was that another one of those? Oh no, that's a little sister holding a plasmid. That is so freaking... I hate this place. It's not as bad as the uh, the uh, creepy dudes in um, Fort Frolic in Bioshock 1. It just, it's just creepy enough to get my hairs going... Uh, straight for everything that's going on in this place in McClendon Robotics. The Turing Test! There we go, more explanation about that. Pearl's death opened up a kind of hole in my mind. But eventually I got around to reflecting on Alan and his intelligence test for machines. I remember grinning about the idea that I could beat it. Design a machine capable of replicating Turing himself. And wouldn't that show the old man? But then suddenly I realized I wasn't really thinking about replicating Alan at all. I was thinking about Pearl. So he was trying to create, well, turn the tinker into his wife, so she would pass the Turing test. The Turing test, of course, being the test that is used to check if an AI can be uh, considered alive, human. That they, uh, they can have a conversation with a man, with a normal human and that the person wouldn't know the difference between the conversation he has with a normal person and the AI. But let's turn on the crane. And what did that do exactly? Yeah, that moved that beam away from uh, the area that we need to access. And now we should be able... Ooh, that was nice. Thank you. Jesus Christ, everything ex everything is exploding. What the hell is going on? I think my rocket turret is going haywire. And now of course we can access this area because otherwise that beam would have uh, would have blocked us, the crane would have blocked us. And there we have again with the freaking creepy and I I even have a spear right in front of there. So sorry about that. Tinker meet pearl. The Thinker's independent reasoning processor has been running for several months now. Standardized intelligence test scores continue to rise, beginning daily voice synthesis test. Good morning, Thinker. How are you? Acceptable. Request to continue most recent conversation topic. Pearl Porter. No, oh, my late wife. Yes, I'd love to tell you all about her. I have a number of old audio recordings we made together that you could listen to, if you'd like. Acceptable. Begin input of data regarding Pearl Porter. You took the words right out of my mouth, friend. There we go. This is a very sad story, but a very good one. So, uh, struck by enormous grief, he tried to turn the tinker into his wife. So he started feeding his, uh, the tinker audio diaries of his wife and we're gonna start finding those as well in a second so that's gonna be very interesting but electrobolt of course the best thing in the entire world shocking enemies into well would call it submission but 
it's just very cool to just electrobolt everything. It makes, of course, uh, enemies susceptible to very, very powerful follow-up attacks with the drill. Let's auto-hack the safe and open this up. $45, two mini turrets and three rocket spears. I can't carry more mini turrets, which we're going to be able to uh, use. We're going to be able to use those in a second, so uh, don't worry about that. Because, yeah, he took the words right out of my mouth. Um... Well, now that we have all the security here up and running, why not attack the big daddy here now that we have a bit of a larger a larger uh, arsenal as well. Maybe even put a few uh, trap rivets around here. And then don't waste any time and just start firing a uh, rocket. I'm just gonna let the bots take care of most of the damage here. The rocket spears is go are gonna do a lot of damage as well. And I'm gonna try and take out the rest of his damage with the laser beam. There we go. Subject Sigma rises above the path. Lancer Killer! A Trophy! Before the all -knowing thinker. There we go, and let's adopt the little sister. We're gonna still go with the uh, positive route, of course. Because this is also in this DLC. We can still gather with little sisters, which is very, very oh, awesome. Daddy, right here. Yes, I've seen it. Thank you for that very nice observation. Uh, what I do want to do is be... No, I want to prepare this a bit, of course. So give me a second. So uh, a few trap rivets and two mini turrets are going to have to do for now because this technically is our first gather, so it should be doable. Don't you will with the girls. Push your body with Adam. The thing is perfect. The equation sorry, accounts sorry. for all possibilities. Just going to put myself up here because that gives me the best uh, overview. I'm hoping they're... There we go. Just try and keep her safe, as we always do. Because they're getting shot up. They don't stand a chance normally. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, wow. Thank thanks. Thanks, David. There we go. It taken care of. Didn't even have to use uh, a health kit there. So two is clearly enough. Uh, well, goddammit, I forgot to pick up the... Because, uh, of course, we could get two more mini turrets from the uh, safe up there. Which was... I think it was over there, right? Not exactly sure. Rivets. Rivets. Maybe start using those a bit. I'm gonna have a few of those. I want to swap out my weapons constantly so I don't fill up one weapon and just have an empty weapon otherwise. So one extra mini turret, always, always handy, especially for gather. So uh, I think that's pretty much it for this area. Because we went up there, we went, then we go. I'm not exactly sure. Then we go in here. Yeah, we opened that up and got the cleaning bolt. So I don't think there's another vacuum bolt in here. Yeah, go into the water. Oh. It's nice over there. It's dancing, daddy. Dancing. Yes, it is. I don't, don't think it likes dancing. And it's very uncultured like that. Uh, hi. There we go. In the face. How does it feel to know that your grand purpose is foretold by a machine? The numbers know already what will happen. As I tell you this, will it affect the outcome? Eh, I am not so much holding my breath. So, 
That's kind of a bit weird. So he believes in the Tinker, but right now he's not in control of the Tinker. So he feels like the Tinker already knows what's going to happen and he feels like he's going to win. But at this point, he's not in control, which is, to me, rather weird. Uh, I'm just going to buy a few more thermal cells because I do like myself a bit of thermal cells. Uh, maybe a bit of rocket spirits because we have way too much money already. We're playing on the hardest difficulty, but that apparently doesn't affect uh, anything. Oh, this thing is so in inaccurate at long range. There we go, and we're gathering money again. Uh, I'm actually gonna keep telekinesis as my base. Um, we did. Where the hell are we now? Just trying to. Yeah, so we went to the workshops first, and now we're gonna go to the demonstration stage because we haven't checked this place out yet. And I feel like there's gonna be some hacking involved. Well, aside from this hacking, Mr. Bubbles. I am Mr. Bubbles. Oh yeah, she's talking to me, of course. Oh shit. Um, is he dead? I felt like he was dead. Hi. Hmm? Mom, what's seven times twelve? Don't ask me. What the hell are you doing? Jesus Christ. Honey, I'm home from work. What's that wonderful smell? There we go. The automatic chef made your favorite tonight. Tuna surprise. And I didn't have to lift a finger. Yay. Thanks, Mom. Don't thank me. Thank McClendon Robotics. How might McClendon Robotics improve the lives of your customers? Meet with one of our corporate representatives today. McClendon Robotics, conveniently located in Minerva's Den, the heart of Rapture's high technology. So I'm gonna just hack these two security bots. So we're gonna have a bit of a defense. Let's clear out the back area, and then we will be able to move on that corpse. So I think the, oh, I don't even see the camera. I have no clue where that camera is. If you saw the camera, please let me know in the comments. Where the hell... Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to go faster here. There we go. Whew. 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 That was close. Could have gone a lot worse. Let's destroy the vacuum bolt. God damn it, I can't reach it. And we got the Noidia Diary from that. Yeah, I guess sometimes a cloud of lead just ain't enough. Today I signed for a shipment of those new bot models from McClendon. One variety tosses lightning bolts and the other fires a swarm of rockets. I understand we got some sensitive info bouncing around the mainframe, but brother, have you guys ever heard of Overkill? I don't think they have Christopher de Remo, so yeah, that's just uh, indicating how well heavily fortified this place eventually became with those uh, elect okay, with those electro bolt uh, bolts and the rocket bolts. Because those aren't in the, the main game, so... Although, I'm, there might be a few... Rocket security bolts in, that, in the, the main game. I'm not exactly sure anymore. So, there are uh, three out of five vacuum bolts. So, we're doing pretty good on that account. Because I think I haven't missed any yet. Uh, and then we'll head towards this area, I suppose. Hello? Anyone here? Ooh, there's a lot of food in here. But I don't think... Somebody triggered. Somebody triggered the camera. Oh hi! You're gonna have to be have to be you careful. Get me, Daddy. No, stop, 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 stop. Don't don't attack. Don't stop 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 attacking. Stop attacking. Thank you. Because I like my own bolts. Please don't hurt my own bolts. I have a veritable army of bolts in this place. That would have been lovely. This place is dark. Ah, there we go. That's what I what what I was here for. Okay. Gonna have to move around. Eve Link! Get more out of your first aid kits with Eve Link. Because we get a bit of Eve when we use a first aid kit. Might not be such a bad idea. Just gonna swap that out for sports boost. So we're gonna move a bit slower again. And of course, Thermal Cell. Thermal Cell is lovely. Oh, another remote hack dart. Gotta keep my eyes open here because there's a lot of stuff hidden around the place. Just eat my fill again. And I think that's pretty much it from the demonstration 
range, aside from, of course, the uh, corpse that I need to check out. That was in your face, buddy. There we go. Taken care of very, very efficiently. Don't think I can hack this thing yet? No. So that's just... Uh, oof. That's an uncomfortable position. There we go. And I might have put down the mini turrets first. Uh, and then the input. Don't move like that. So enemy triggered is gonna add a few more bolts. Just gonna try and check out when I can hack that last bolt. I'm trying burst fire because that wastes a lot less. Hey, dude. That's a lot of damage and doesn't really... There's a spider splicer incoming. Yeah, he just died. Getting lit up. Let's switch to the normal... Ooh, that was... Yeah, his health is going down. Double laser beams. What the hell? Double laser beams I'm for the win. The other girls that I have the best daddy. You know why that is? Because I am the best daddy. Just, just not, just not, just don't tell everybody else that I'm murdering everybody here. Uh, more stuff, more stuff. And that's, of course, filling up every single gather we needed. So I'm just going to try and find... A vent. I'm assuming I'm going to come across one sooner rather than later. Um, did I hack this thing yet? I don't need to. I'm just going to whack it to complete destruction. Thank you. Are you seriously crying already while you haven't seen me yet? Yeah, I'm just going to use a health kit. Um, what else do we have here? Is there anything else around this place? Behind this? Well, display of whatever the hell this machine... Oh, that's an electric, uh, an electric turret. Rapture Central Computing there is we go. the best choice for your company's Rescue! Why the thinker even does some thinking for Ryan Industries. There we go. Saved our first little sister. And we got 80 Adam out of that. 190 Adam. Hmm. Rivets. And the face. Well, that opened up. That was weird. So now we got the lecture bolt. We can get into the, um, well, the place on the other side. The uh, airtight. What's it called? Airtight archives, I think. Yeah. No, sir. Uh, the only thing that's missing from this DLC is probably for the best is the research camera. Because, yeah, the research camera would just take One out too much of the should get you into the archives. rhythm. Yeah, I know, Porter. Thanks for that information. I don't think you have a little sister yet, do you? No. Let's check here. Thermal cells. I mean, thermal cells. Always thermal cells. Why not? And a bit of a mini to it. Muchas gracias, senor. Possessions define you. Don't they deserve to be protected? Airtight archives offers the most secure choice that you can make remember that's airtight archives located in minerva's den 